salesy. This is the start we're up to. This is how it's going to go. Oh, you're not feeling with confidence, Walker. I'm not feeling with confidence. We can get this right. We can do it. We can. I mean, hey, hey, also, um, I think, have we been doing this for four years? Did we miss our birthday? I've got no idea when you started this anymore. <laughs> Time didn't exist during COVID and um, I've got no concept of how long we've been doing this. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure. Four years. I think it's four years. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. What is that about? I just thought of that then. Like, I was just like, hang on. I wonder. I'd be able to pinpoint it because I went to that stupid U2 concert in stupid New Well, Zealand. we definitely could... started at the end of the year before COVID. So I guess it, yeah. I guess that was it. Yeah, because we Holy just... Holy moly. What are we... I mean, I've got better things to do. No, I've got other things to do. I don't really have better things to do. Thank you, Cassie. Uh, I think this week you could honestly say that. You've had better things to do. Uh, what have Chris done this week? Oh, just won a huge music award at the Radio Acra thingies. And, <laughs> and then... Sorry, I can't hear you over the clapping. Oh, there you go. Talk now. No, congratulations. <laughs> uh, Chris and the team at Triple M Homegrown won the Michael Kodinsky Award at the Acras, which is like the Logies for radio on the weekend. And I'm so fucking stoked for you guys. So, so proud of you guys because I've just seen firsthand how hard you all work on that. And to be presented that award by Lee Simon, who is the actual godfather of Triple M, is just so beautiful. So I'm very, yeah, I'm so happy for you all. Thank you. Yeah, so it was the first time they put that award in. I just got a Skype message. Um, Skype, Jesus. Um, <laughs> wow, uh, you've really got about time, five years. <laughs> Skype. The first time that award has happened. So it's the Australian Music Champion Award, otherwise known as the Gadinsky. Um, and, yeah, put in on the 50th anniversary of Mushroom and all that kind of thing. And they played the trailer for the Ego documentary before the award was presented. And, yeah, they made a big deal of it, which was, um, which was weird. And then we... Got up and Matty O made an amazing speech, like a legend. And it's great to be part of that show. It's really, really good. Oh, I'm really, really proud of you. Um, it's unlike Mushroom to be plugging something during something else, though. Right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to do it. And, you know, it just so happens I'm wearing a Mushroom T-shirt. Oh, so my go. God. Um, and also, pretty much in the space of just over a year, you've hung out with Silverchair. All three yeah, of them. Yeah, all of them. All of them. All of them. Collect them all. Uh, so you've had a huge week. So they are better things that you could do with your time other than hanging out with me. Okay. But we're doing it. <laughs> um, while you're doing all that cool stuff, I've got a cold sore. Sweet. Sick. <laughs> it just shows where, where life is. It does, it does suggest you've been getting up to mischief, sir. That's good. You know, no, congratulations. Thank you. I'm always getting up to mischief. So apparently we started this in November. I'm just going to I'm just going to confirm it's not our birthday yet. Because I okay. saw New Zealand I saw you two in New Zealand in November in 2019. So, hey. Okay. We're we're on our way. Um speaking of being on our way, I'm going to start with your song. <laughs> Yeah. Um, that you brought in last week. <laughs> what a chorus. Seriously. Aren't you smiling after that chorus? It's like, the description had me in an Stop absolute church. giggle fit. Yeah. And it's so deserving. Um, <laughs> the artist at group name is Spoonbill. I don't even know what a Spoonbill is apart from a bird. I don't know if it's a collective. I don't know if it's one person in a bedroom. I'm assuming it's one person in a bedroom. Um, <laughs> the song that you brought in is Mirari. I think it would be Mir Mirari. And yeah, it's like, I want it to be my theme song. Like I feel like whenever I'm running errands, I just need that in my earbuds and I yeah. can just like go just a little bit of that extra mile. <laughs> 
like you know when you're like weaving through the supermarket trying to find like I don't know where they store the alf oil or something random that you could never find <laughs> it's like you need that in your ears just to kind of get you on that mission um <laughs> it's yeah it like <laughs> yeah it, it's <laughs> it's you it's weird <laughs> <laughs> you know what I imagine like I keep um having I've got this false memory of that song being like being used in a TV show or something, like go back 20 years, think they're going into an ad break, they're putting the phone numbers of who you vote to evict out of the Big Brother house <laughs> and that's the riff that starts. <laughs> Maybe it is. Like... like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you put that up and then it's like... like... <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Jeez, mate. <laughs> Yeah, it was a time. Um, not a bad time. I don't know if it's going to be an all time, but it's a time. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but the albums, if you want 40 minutes of it, put the album on, like, you know, go for it. Yeah, you're going to be seeing people zipping all the way through supermarkets now. Do, 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 it's do, a scooter. Do. You get on a lime scooter, put that in your headphones. Oh, no. And, then, I would and drive safe. Yeah, no, yeah, that's it. No, <laughs> do not take that advice. Do not. Um, yeah, it was sick. It was a vibe. It still is a vibe. It's very fun. Uh, does it sit well in our songs only playlist on Spotify? No, but that's the joy of it. Of course it none of it does. That's why it's great. Mashy McMash Mash. Um, yeah, my song, whatevs, fuck it over it. Life sucks. The world is doomed. That's that ruined the playlist because honestly it was relevant for like five days. It was pointless. Only people who listened to it were gonna vote yes anyway. What talk about ruining the playlist. Shut <laughs> your face. It's still relevant. We still it's, have to fight. It's absolutely it's true, bullshit. Who's for? Yeah, I don't know. January twenty sixth as a song, you know, had months to slowly seep its way into the a broader collectiveness and then people heard it and they went, oh, you know what? They got a point, you know. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything positive it's, to say. Uh, it's, it, it's, yeah, it's a time of mourning, right? Like it's definitely feeling low and flat. Um, but I still think the song is relevant and hopefully people who it didn't reach in time will listen to it and maybe think twice next time they have an opportunity to speak or um, ch make a change. <laughs> there you go. We're going to hope that. But yeah, I don't know how that feels so in bubble. And, but, you know. I need to shake up. What are you digging this week? I had songs I liked. I, I had them, I'm sure. There was, there's, there's been songs that, you know, I could have bought into this. All of that went out the window. I can't remember any of them. Since about 7.30 this morning, I heard brand new Veronica's. Like, everything else is out. Everything else is, is gone. And all I can think about is brand new Veronica's. I have not even listened to it yet. You saw hours ago that I put on my Instagram story. I know you know it exists. What have you been doing with your time? That's a really great question. I have been listening to the brand new album from Blink-182 on repeat. So oh. I have been busy. <laughs> it's been yeah. a huge day for music. Like today, the releases, I can't, I can't even. It's, it's been a week. But please carry on about the Veronica's. That's it. Oh, what's the song called? It's called Perfect. It's, it's about, uh, main, the main theme is about body image and, how people project that you should look perfect and they aren't having that anymore and they couldn't give a stuff about what you expect out of their bodies. Cop that. Oh, um, I will. Rocks and, like, just bring it on. Veronica's era is back. And I want to shout out some extra fun facts. Uh, that single is the first one off a new album that they're releasing that is called Gothic Summer, and I am here for that. Night swimming, Gothic Summer is here. Do you know who wrote it with them? Um, the song? I'll give, I'll give you a hint. 
He plays drums in a band called Blink-182. Oh, freaking gee whiz. Are we doing a double Travis Barker? Mm. Travis deserves all of the praise he can get. Like, Travis Barker is... Who would have thought... Like, who would have thought that the second drummer of Blink-182 would be the coolest thing in music in 2023, right? Like, he is the best. Um, Now, I did say I've been spending a morning listening to the new Blink record, which I'm loving, but I only work up at, like, 10.30 a.m., so it's not... I haven't been listening to it that long. And although I was laughing and giggling throughout it, I can't decide on... I couldn't decide... I couldn't pick one. I couldn't pick one. So... Um, I'm going. The done now. You can't pick any. They're done. They no. can't come back next week. It's too late. Mate, no. Mate, no, you're, you're only on. one you're half in. of this. You can let it be known that this is your chance and you missed it. There's no more blink. No. In my perspective, I'll be disappointed that you haven't listened to anything else. <laughs> what do I do? This is one of the biggest crossroads of my life. What do I do? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh. Sorry, song that I was gonna bring in, uh, which was probably gonna break your heart oh. and piss you off anyway. But I'm doing oh, it. Good. Um, all right. Blink one eight two. They are back. The three of them, the three awesome ones. Mark, Tom and Travis. Uh, they're back together. The album is called All in Caps One More Time. Uh, look, the first single, Edging, I didn't love, but don't, if you also didn't love that, it's fine because the album is sick. The song that I'm bringing in, because you've pushed me, (laughs) you've pushed me to the edge. Um, note that this is now an explicit episode. The song that I'm bringing in is brand new Blink-182. It's the song that made me laugh out loud whilst listening to this on the first play. It's titled Fuckface. Cassie. Cassie. And it goes for 26 seconds. You asked for it. You asked for it. (laughs) And that's it. That's the end of the episode. You'd, you'd, think, you'd think that there'd be presence of mature adults on this. You'd think. Nearly been going for four years, this thing. You'd think there'd be personal growth. You'd think there'd be, you know, a sense of decorum. No. Nah. No, nah, not here. Not here. <laughs> okay. I, no, uh, no, I'm doing it. Oh, it's, yeah, just um, it's done. It's done. Um, that's what you get when you push me. <laughs> um, thank you for listening. <laughs> I hope that you get the time to get through particularly my song, uh, 26 Seconds. Quite possibly, actually, not quite possibly, I don't even need to think about it. It's the shortest song we've ever had on the pod. Um, congrats, Blink. <laughs> I'm stoked. Mum, if you're listening, I'm not sorry. Um, if you want to know my Blink story, I'll save that for another time. Uh, thank you for listening. Chris, thanks for pers- persisting through my Shizen Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, I'll get that fixed. Good luck. Your job to edit this up now, so good luck <laughs> with that too. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, our <Thank> merch. <laughs>